Welcome back to Marion's World. I've got a little tutorial today on upcycling a man's hoodie, knitted hoodie, with some jersey material to make a dress. And I did show the hoodie and the material at the end of the um, hexagon, good as you go hexagon tutorial a couple of weeks ago. And so I actually got around to doing it and I've been wearing it quite a bit because it's so nice to wear. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and have a go yourself at taking something that you've thrifted or something you just think is nice. The reason I chose the hoodie in the first place was because I actually liked the neckline, I liked the closure down the front. Uh, and I thought I'd take the hood off because I'm not really a hoodie wearer. But in the end, um, I actually like that part about it and it's been really snuggly around the back of my neck when I've been out wearing it. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for all your likes, all your shares or whatever, um, all your, or everybody who subscribes, everything, everything. Um, whatever you're doing, thank you very much and I hope you enjoy your crafting yourselves. Well, I'm about to try and turn this into um, a winter dress for myself or a pinafore, one or the other. Um, this is the man's hoodie that I got from a thrift stuff, thrift shop or a charity shop. I don't normally wear hoodies, but I really like this closure here. I think it's really, really nice. And I thought I could do something with it. I've tried it on and I've put a pin in where I think the waist will be. And I've actually made it a little bit longer to give myself room. I do not want to cut it too short from the beginning and I'm actually just going to cut it off. I'm not, this cost me a grand total of £3 so I'm not wasting much money if it comes out wrong but obviously I hope it doesn't come out wrong and I'm just going to cut it off. There we are, one hoodie sort of destroyed. Um, I'm going to keep this bit here because it may be that I'll use these bits to make a binding for the armholes if I decide to do a pinafore. Because it may be that I'll cut the arms off and reset the armholes in so I can wear a jumper underneath and use it as a pinafore in which case the hood might come off as well and I'll make a new neck treatment. But so far, so much destroyed. Um, this is the fabric that I'm going to use for the skirt. It's really pretty. I got it from Sewing for Pleasure in March of this year uh, with the intention of making a long sleeved top and then just thought it was a bit too busy for that, for what I wanted. So I'm just going to cut it across the width uh, to the length of my skirt, the length I want the skirt. I'll cut it twice so I've got like a front and a back and then I can put pockets in. I need about a 23 inch drop for my skirt uh, so I'm just going to measure across the width down to 23, 23 inches and I'll make it 24 to allow me for a hem if I need the full length maybe that I don't need that length. And I am just going to mark it and cut straight across because I feel that is exactly level. That's exactly level. So I'm just going to follow the pattern and I'm going to go straight across. So this type of dress, there's no particular shaping with it being jersey. I don't need to do a full bust adjustment which is what I'd normally do if it was a cotton skirt. Um, a cotton dress I'd need to do, I'd need to put darts in but because that's knitted fabric uh, and it's also oversized for me um, it's just going to be a nice loose style. So there's my first skirt panel. I'll do the next one. I've got this spare scrap of jersey from another top that I made last year. This is all I've got left, just these few scraps. There's going to be enough to make pockets and I think the blue will look fine. Just going to put my hand there 
and figure out I just need to make that sort of a shape and so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to cut out that sort of a shape it's doubled over so I know they're going to match they're going to be a good size pocket open it up there so I'm not getting my hand in I've just actually cut my skirt panels down I realised once I held them up that they were just going to be far too full and so I've measured them off one of my other dresses and realised that one width across wasn't enough but two widths across was too much so I've gone and taken about two feet off the width so I now have two pieces like that off, off the width across uh, that I can do something else with it may be that I can make a t-shirt for the summer out of those bits but I now have my two skirt panels each one is I can measure it each one is 37 inches 38 inches across which is 96 centimeters I've pinned my pockets on right sides together with the skirt and I've just started the pocket about three inches down from the waist um, and I'm just going to overlock them on if I didn't have an overlocker I'd just use zigzag the other thing is, which is what I used before I had the overlocker I've only had the overlocker for a year um, and I used to just use the zigzag or the stretch stitch on my machine but the other thing is our jersey is so quick and easy to actually hand stitch and I hand stitch quite a few of my jersey tops uh, because I like the look of it so just because you don't have an overlocker doesn't mean that you can't make some jersey clothes and I'm just going to take my pins out as I go so I am going to go and put every pocket on like that I've pressed my pockets open and pressed the seam towards the skirt and now I'm going to sew the side seams up and all I've done is I've made sure that the pocket openings are matching on the back and front and I've pinned the pockets so that as I go around I know that the fabric isn't going to slip but I will be sewing down from the waist around the pocket and then down right to the hem in one go. Pins out as I go, don't want my overlocker to go over the pins. And I'll do exactly the same on the other side. I'm now ready to gather the waist because I've pressed the pockets forward so the pockets are now set in place. Quite like the different colour on the inside which is quite nice. So I'm going to gather the skirt to put onto the top in two halves of so the front and then the back so I'm going to actually pull the thread from the top from the needle and I'm going to pull quite a long piece out equal to well more than the, what I wanted to gather so I've got a big long piece of thread here I'm going to turn to zigzag and I'm going to put it on my biggest my widest zigzag put the needle down and then the main thing is that I am going to hold this thread in between the gap in the foot and the needle is going to zigzag over the top of the thread without sewing onto it and that means that at the end I just need to pull this thread up and it'll be very easy. It won't be like pulling up your bobbin thread or anything like that. So I haven't had to adjust anything. I haven't had to adjust tension. It's just easy. So I'm going to start off slowly. And all that's happening is I'm keeping the thread right in. I don't know whether I can pull you in a bit more. So I've got the bobbin thread right in between 
the gap and then the zigzag is going over the top and as long as I keep the edge of my fabric along the edge of the foot there's going to be nothing to pull out at the end. So I just go slowly and all the time I'm just looking that that thread is in between the gap. Just do a tiny bit more and then I can show you. So already what I can do, if I pull on this thread, I can immediately pull the gathers and pull them out again. And it is such an easy way of putting a gathering thread in for whatever you might want to be gathering up, but usually it is a skirt. So I'll carry on. So I'm just going to stop my zigzag. I'm not going to backstitch or anything. I'm just going to stop my zigzag, trim my threads. The main thing is I do not want to lose this gathering thread. So what I normally do is I put a pin in there and I wind the thread round it so that it, it can't slip back. And I'm going to do exactly the same for the back. I now have to pin the skirt onto the cut off hoodie top. And how I'm going to do that is I have got, I've just, I've just marked halfway between the seams on the hoodie by just folding it in half and putting a pin in. And I've done the same on the skirt material. And now I'm just going to put them together and put one pin in like that and then I just carry on doing that so I find the halfway point again in the hoodie or the bodice or whatever you're making and I find the halfway point of this bit and I put them together and this way you know that you're going to get your gathers even now all I have to do is pull on the thread to pull the gathers up and I start and pull. Look how easy that pulls up. I'm going to work those gathers along until it's all pulled in and nice and even. So I'll, I'll hold on to this end and I'll work the gathers right to, right to here. And then I'm actually just going to go ahead and start and sew this. We've finished sewing the, the hoodie and the skirt together and when I've tried it on, it just doesn't look right with the sleeves. So I am now going to cut off the sleeves. I think I'm going to leave the hoodie part, which I think was going to come off. But actually, I think I quite like it. So the sleeves are going next. And I will hem around the armholes and turn this whole thing into a pinafore. Well, it's the next day and I tried the whole thing on. And it definitely was too big for me. So I have now cut the sleeves off and I'm turning them under. It doesn't even need a double fold because it's a knit. So I am just going to zigzag my way around. I have to turn it to zigzag now. I zigzag my way around the armholes and try it on again and see how that goes. And it's just a matter of making sure that you take your pins out as you go. And go all the way around. Well, here's the finished dress. And I have had to alter it one more time. So it definitely looks good with the sleeves off as a pinafore. And the only other thing I had to do was I had to unpick the back bodice from the skirt and put a couple of darts in because it was just far too big for me. I'm really happy with it though, already been wearing it quite a bit. I've worn it sleeveless and I've also worn it with a long sleeve t-shirt underneath. I just wanted to show how easy it is to actually take a couple of things, a length of material, a man's hoodie and just turn it into something unique to you. Give it a try, you just don't know until you have a go. Anyway. 
Bye from Marion's world. Um, happy stitching and crafting to you all. Bye for now.